on um so this is uh i would say a surprise session and a happy session because in this session we are going to announce our open form community contribution award and this uh, award is an initiative um we aim to acknowledge those who have made a sustain, substantial contribution to the open form community especially considering um, those who have who constantly make contribution despite the tough time brought by COVID-19. Um, I would say um, I've been using open form for like um, five years so far and uh, I think most of the contributions um, were free. So which means they share the code, they share the talks, they share the efforts, but they didn't require to um, receive any money or anything. Um, compared to commercial software that you have a profit. So I think um, localization is very important um, in, in a way to um, trying to say thanks to some of these um, contributions. Um, so as an initiative, um, when we were advertising the workshop, you could see in the event bright um, page that we ask for a uh, nomination from audience, um, which is from all of you. Um, provide some people in your mind that you think deserve this awards and uh, what's the reason to receive the awards. And we received nominations from some of you. And then we um, have a first have an internal discussion between the user open form workshop community um, to check the basically if they are uh, eligible and uh, some of the reasons are true and fair and then we pass the um, recommendation to the international open form workshop for them to assess and then make the final decision so i'm happy to announce that we have two awardees have been selected and i'm going to announce um, the length today um, well, it's really important to mention that I think many of the contributions are more than the awards can recognize. Um, and what you think there's um, in the workshop, uh, like previous speakers, Gavin, Philip, I think they all made a really impressive contribution to the, to the community. And what you will be seeing in the whole workshop would be um, kind of a tip of the iceberg of the open form, how open source uh, manner. But I do wish these two um, awards can be a little gesture to um, encourage and acknowledgement those, acknowledge those um, who made um, contributions and give us some strength to um, carry on. So the first awardee, I'm going to read the reason um, we received from um, the nomination. The first awardee, he has created a free open form course at the Chalmers University of Technology. His course is totally free and open for worldwide PhD students. He spent enormous hours preparing and del delivering the course every year since 2007. The course covers deep knowledge of various safety topics and have practically helped many junior researchers to solve their problems in open form. He challenged his students to make a new open form function or solver before graduate, which made some of them become pioneering young leader who continue contributing safety community in an open source manner. I think some of you can already guess um, who uh, this is. So I'm going to, it's really my honor to announce his name. His name is uh, Professor Hakan Nielsen. Hakan, you may open your camera and say some words to, to the audience and the audience please feel free to type your congratulations uh, in the chat box. Hey, thank you very much, Lu Feng. <clears throat> uh, I'm really happy and honored for this award. Uh, it really helps me uh, continue working like I have been working for so many years. And uh, <clears throat> also I uh, get sometimes emails from people all over the world who also 
send gratitude to me and I'm really glad to get those. Uh, they really give me st strength to continue a lot of energy. So if I can say a few words just how all this started. I, I started uh, using Open for myself in 2005 and uh, in the beginning I also got a lot of help from other people. You heard Lu Feng say that there are many people who are sharing a lot of things in the Open Form community and uh, I'm of course not only the only one, there are many, many people sharing things. And uh, in particular in the beginning I got help from others and uh, when I had learned uh, the first bits then I started to, I wanted to help others. So I was starting by helping others through the Open Form forum. But after a while, I thought that that was uh, not very efficient. So instead, I set up a course which uh, started in 2007. And I've given it then 14 times here at Chalmers and plus actually two times more at TU Delft as well. Not exactly in the same form, but uh, almost. But most of all, I would like to also thank uh, other people involved, the students. First of all, it's the students who make this course uh, uh, as good as it is, because the students' work contributes to the course as well. It is part of the course and they are put online on the course homepage, which you may have seen. It's not a very nice homepage, but it contains a lot. Um, so the students, I thank you. Some of you are probably here, Lu Feng, for instance. Uh, and uh, also my assistants who have helped me. Some years I have actually been on my own. It's been really tough. One year I had 30 students on my own, but some years I had assistants and well, I'm very grateful for that. It's almost impossible to do it on, on my, my own. Uh, also, I had a couple of guest lectures in the beginning, but uh, not, not the last years now. So on my course homepage, you can find have 177 reports from the students. And of course, they, have, they are in different levels of uh, complexity and also uh, how deep they go into the code and so on, because all students start at different levels, but all of them increase their, their knowledge a lot. And in some cases, the, the student works actually contribute to the releases of open form uh, and form extend as well. Uh, and some of the, those uh, project reports are also cited in journal papers. I just checked yesterday and one of them had 51 citations uh, according to Google Scholar and that was from Physics of Fluids, International Journal of Heat and Mass Transfer, International Journal of Heat and Fluid Flow, so it's good citations. Uh, and I see it at conferences as well, at posters that people cite those work. So I'm really grateful to all, all the students who, who, who contribute with these uh, good reports. And right now I already have 21 students interested for the next course, course that starts in September, so it's getting full. And that's nice that people want to sign up. But also it's a kind of a problem for me because it's a lot of work, as I mentioned. Uh, so I have to find ways to, to deal with that. Uh, but the energy that I get from this kind of uh, awards and, and, and your nice words is really helpful. So thank you very much. Thanks, Hakan. Um, so I, um, I'll get a little bit emotional. <laughs> it, should be, it should be a happy session. So I, I want to, following Hakan, I want to um, actually share this. Um, oh, sorry. Am I presenting the workshop page? Yes. Yeah, I want to actually share this um, website of Hakan, Safety Open Source Software. You can see he has a precedence and course material every year store on the uh, web page. I think his course not only give people to go to Chalmers to study, uh, but also those materials uh, have a worldwide impact. You can check every year back to um, how this goes back and all the student report, presentation files, movies are there available. Um, as, as you can see, I didn't spend time on making it nice, yet, but it has a lot of information. <laughs> I want to... Oh, Yep. Open this 2017 one, um, which is the year I was in Sweden. And uh, this is me 
and we were having this workshop. I want to tell Hakan that after come back um, to UCL 2017, I found like at UCL we don't we didn't have many um, researchers who are teaching or doing open form at that time. So you really inspired me to create this open form community at UCL. And even the course, the open, uh, UCL open form workshop, as you see today, it grew from the, at the beginning, 20 people. Now we have um, more than 200 people at the moment are, are listening to us. So it's you who made this um, possible and uh, give me the inspiration. So thank you again. Okay, um, I, I need to switch back to my slides. Is this back to slides now? <laughs> Not, yet. Not yet. Okay, I think I will share it. So everyone, as you already seen, um, Han, Hakan has done very really impressive um, contributions. You must be curious about who is our second awardee. I will also um, read his contribution first. He has created an online YouTube channel to share open form tutorials for free. He records videos covering from installation open form to complex simulation operations. His videos are easy to follow and he explains each step, comment, and has prepared slides to introduce the overall architecture. His videos have been played millions of times so far. Also, he is the chair of tutorials and the documentation in the open form governance system and the main editor of the newly launched open form journal. So, I'm honored to, honored to announce his name, Yosef Laji. Yosef, would you like to open your camera and uh, say some words? Yeah, thank you very much. Am I audible? Yes. Can you hear I'm, me? Can... Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So um, thank you very much. Um, I am honored just to be nominated here. Uh, and uh, actually having the honor of an award is really, really humbling. And I can just say the same words as Hakan just mentioned, that it is a great motivation to carry on, especially during these uh, difficult times of 2020 and 2021. So I'm very honored and I'm very, very thankful. And I'm really, really glad that people like my contributions um, to the community and it re really just started just very similar to what Hakan said that I started my PhD with OpenFOAM and there was there were two guys who know a little bit about OpenFOAM so they helped me a little bit to get into it and then uh, the rest I had to learn myself and then once I had a small page of, uh, base of knowledge then I thought to myself that I want to give it to others and then I started my YouTube channel just with basic tutorials, then with more advanced tutorials. And then it really grew with time. And now, as you mentioned, now we, we also have the tutorial collection. You may know that, wiki.openform.com slash tutorials and the new initiative journal.openform.com where Philip Cardiff, as well as Hakan, are also editors. So very, very exci excited things that are happening. So. And also on my end, uh, it is a great um, motivation to carry on. And I can promise you that I will carry on with my YouTube channel. I have uh, plans for this year. I will continue tutorials. I will also continue my events on my YouTube channel. Currently, the online international meeting for users of OpenFOAM is, um, is ongoing. So you can submit there something if you want. And um, also I'm maybe possibly trying out the new YouTube Shorts feature. I'm not sure how, but I will try them. And also big thank to all my patrons who are helping me in these uh, difficult times. And uh, because they are also um, giving additional tutorials. Now I am on my third 
simulation project on Patreon. And also I uh, started this year, I will start another project where I help my patrons increase their turnaround time in simulations to improve their uh, simulation efficiency. So there is a lot to come and this award and similar emails of thank you. And also if I meet people at conferences who thank me, they are really motivating me to carry on. So thank you again for well, nom nominating me first and then second for the award itself. Thank you very much, Joseph. I like your mic a lot. Uh, I would like to share um, my screen again. So for our audience, I would like to share, is this Joseph website been sharing? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I want to share to you how, uh, how many videos um, Joseph has made on YouTube and it's all free. You can some of them um, have been viewed like hundreds of thousand times. He's done this for many years and it's really um, substantial contents. Cannot even go to the end, it's too much, too many. <laughs> I learned a lot of your videos um, from the beginning of my open form journey. And uh, secondly, I want to share Joseph's um, three weeks series and he made um, a tutorial about how to learn open form in three weeks and what you should do from day one to day, to day 15. I know some of our audience are um, company beginners. So if you would like a quick start, I think beyond the workshop, go to Joseph's website it would be a very um, good starting point. And this is also um, some of our master PhD students at UCL. We highly recommend them to do this course before the beginning of their research. And, and I also want to credit the other editors of the journal. It wasn't just me who set it up. It was my initiative, but also there were other people yeah. who, who helped me setting it up. And finally, I want to um, share this open form journal. It's already alive. Probably I can show the editorial team. So I think um, I will blame in the list um, should receive thanks and uh, it's already alive and uh, you can already start to, to submit a manuscript to the editor team. And this journal is also totally free open source and they have the um, discussion session under, under each of the paper. So it's really nice initiative. And uh, I, I really looking, look forward to submitting papers and reading papers uh, in this journal. Option. Okay, go back to my slides again. Sorry about that. I think this is uh, about to end of um, the session and uh, you can see so many people um, because of the um, amount of audience, we couldn't let everyone open camera and just say thanks to um, I can and Yosef and uh, cannot applause, but you can see in the chat box uh, so many um, messages. Uh, some of them um, benefited from you and uh, now they, re they really uh, express their operations. It's really a happy your session for me, and uh, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the workshop. And I would like to, at the very end, to um, mention the 16th Open Form Workshop at uh, UCD organized by Philip Cardiff. If after uh, this workshop, you still feel um, in, like want to learn more and uh, you should search this online and uh, trying to um, join this uh, workshop. Most of our speakers in the current UCD workshop will also be there. And I hope to see you there. Um, and uh, at, at the end of the session, I think, I hope um, in the next years, this kind of um, acknowledgement to, um, how to say, recognize the contribution of the free open source code can carry on and uh, 
um, and and we can all become um, help each other and become better in the future. Okay, I think um, I'm going to end this session.